there was two parts. I was scared to think what he would do when he was in like the weird demon voice mode. But then another part of me, I was like, yes, this is what he needed. So me and my boyfriend have been on and off for probably like three years. Um, he had a really bad drinking problem. It was abusive, but we love each other. I forgot where I heard it first, but someone mentioned, I think it was Terrence McKenna. I was like, oh, you do five grams in silent darkness and you look at situations from a different perspective. So I was hoping like by doing that, that can help him. We were just gonna lay there and he was gonna like, you know, keep his eyes closed and just come to like the realization of like what he's done. We do it and in the beginning he's like oh let's go let's go i'm ready to party and i'm like lay down we're doing this for a reason and then he starts getting anxious like a scared kind of anxious <sighs> oh, oh. did you just see that <laughs> no <laughs> you want me not touch you <laughs> oh fucking fine yo what just happened <clears throat> He said that he saw like galaxies. He's like, I just lived through decades. He would say like this, decades. Wow, that was fucking amazing. What did you see? Oh, fuck. Oh God, there was just so much that just happened in the second. So, literally, like me as a baby, I saw decades pass. Like decades, <laughs> galaxies. You know what I mean? Like, see him as a galaxy, and I'm like, oh, fucking bro. Yeah, like, basically, yeah, I'm actually, like, one hit out of here. I lost. Oh, there's a whole world. And I'm like, I need to, I need some work. He got up and he puked. And at this point, I'm like, oh, okay, this is really gonna hit him hard soon. As he's puking, he start doing these little laughs that don't sound like him. <laughs> and he's laying down on the bathroom floor and I go in to check on him and he's like, all right, I feel a little better. I feel a little better now. All of a sudden, he's like, whoa! Like, so, he's like, whoa, whoa! Like something, it, like something was coming at him. <laughs> what? Ah, fuck, I'm going through it right now. I'm like growing, growing. See that? Yeah! <laughs> He starts making movements, kind of like, it, it look, it seemed like, like the exorcist. He's like, ho ho, you really have a fucked up person, don't you? <laughs> there was like a part where, I guess to him, the demon was out. I don't know, because he wasn't communicating with me at this point, but... I guess the demon was out and he was like, oh, no, I, I'm gonna keep you here for a little while. I need to talk to you. And he's like talking to the demon. Trying to deal with how he felt. 
Oh no, I'm I'm just like, I'm thinking about you. part of himself. It was like emotional demons, like trauma that have been in there. He probably had like a face to it because he was talking to it like it was a person. His dad left when he was five and the only memory that he had of his dad, I guess, was like of him hitting his mom or whatever, and then he never talked to him again, then he died. I guess he found that he was dead when he was a teenager, I think. And he never really talked about it with me, ever. I knew his stepdad wasn't his real dad, but he never really mentioned him. You're part of my motherfucking child. You're part of my world. You don't even know. Oh, what? Oh. 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 There was a part during the trip where he's like, hey, dad, oh, that was deep. And he started saying, but he's talking to himself. He's not talking to me. Oh, hey, dad. <laughs> oh, oh, that's been in there. That was deep. Oh, that was deep. And he ended up telling his mom about what happened and texting his stepdad. 
Like he, he really, he seems different. I think mushrooms are to thank, if anything, not just me. I'm like, I feel like a messenger. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but that's kind of how I feel about it. His come, come down was like thanking me. It was just reflecting on what happened, saying he didn't think that was possible like with mushrooms. So he was like, you just saved my life. I'm never gonna be the same. And then we actually listened to the tape. We, we laid down and tried to listen to it. And then he started crying on the bed, listening to it. Yeah, after that, we just went to sleep. He did so I saw it. I felt it. It wasn't you, I felt it. It's still recording.